Total Consecration to Jesus Through Mary These are the dates for the total consecration. The dates when you can start and the day of consecration. Kindly pause the video and take a screenshot. Now, the procedure of the prayers is very simple. We will start with the purpose of the prayer where I just give you an outline of what we are going to do and what the purpose is so that you can listen. Just close your eyes and listen along. Next, we will have the appropriate readings which matches the purpose. After the readings, we will be saying the special prayers for the consecration to Jesus through Mary. All right, let us pray. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Purpose to obtain knowledge of Jesus Christ. During this period, we shall apply ourselves to the study of Jesus Christ. What is to be studied? First the God-man, His grace and glory, then His rights to sovereign dominion over us. Since after having renounced Satan and the world, we have taken Jesus Christ for our Lord. What next shall be the object of our study? His exterior actions and also His interior life namely the virtues and acts of his sacred heart, his association with Mary in the mysteries of the Annunciation and Incarnation during his infancy and his hidden life at the Feast of Cana and on Calvary. Reading The Imitation of Christ Book 1 Chapter 1 Imitating Christ and Despising All Vanities on Earth he who follows me walks not in darkness, says the Lord. John chapter 8 verse 12 By these words of Christ we are advised to imitate his life and habits if we wish to be truly enlightened and free from all blindness of heart. Let our chief effort therefore be to study the life of Jesus Christ. The teaching of Christ is more excellent than all the advice of the saints and he who has a spirit will find in it a hidden manna. Now, there are many who hear the gospel often, but care little for it because they have not the spirit of Christ. Yet, whoever wishes to understand fully the words of Christ must try to find a pattern, his or her whole life, on that life of Christ. What good does it do to speak learnedly about the Trinity if... Lacking humility, you displease the Trinity. Indeed, it is not learning that makes a man holy and just, but a virtuous life makes him pleasing to God. I would rather feel contrition than know how to define it. For what would profit us to know the whole Bible by heart and the principles of all the philosophers if we live without grace and the love of God? Vanity of vanities, and all is vanity, except to love God and serve Him alone. This is the greatest wisdom, to seek the kingdom of heaven through the contempt of the world. Prayers Litany of the Holy Spirit Lord, have mercy on us. Christ, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy on us. Father, all-powerful, have mercy on us. Jesus, eternal Son of the Father, Redeemer of the world, save us. Spirit of the Father and the Son, boundless life of both, sanctify us. Holy Trinity, hear us. Holy Spirit, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, enter our hearts. Holy Spirit, who art equal to the Father and the Son, enter our hearts. 
promise of God the Father, have mercy on us. Ray of heavenly light, have mercy on us. Author of all good, have mercy on us. Source of heavenly water, have mercy on us. Consuming fire, have mercy on us. Ardent charity, have mercy on us. Spiritual unction, have mercy on us. Spirit of love and truth, have mercy on us. Spirit of wisdom and understanding, have mercy on us. Spirit of counsel and fortitude, have mercy on us. Spirit of knowledge and piety, have mercy on us. Spirit of the fear of the Lord, have mercy on us. Spirit of grace and prayer, have mercy on us. Spirit of peace and meekness, have mercy on us. Spirit of modesty and innocence, have mercy on us. Holy Spirit the Comforter, have mercy on us. Holy Spirit the Sanctifier, have mercy on us. Holy Spirit, who governs the Church, have mercy on us. Gift of God, the Most High, have mercy on us. Spirit who fills the universe, have mercy on us. Spirit of the adoption of the children of God, have mercy on us. Holy Spirit, inspire us with the horror of sin. Holy Spirit, come and renew the face of the earth, Holy Spirit, shed Thy light into our souls. Holy Spirit, engrave Thy law in our hearts. Holy Spirit, inflame us with the flame of Thy love. Holy Spirit, open to us the treasures of Thy graces. Holy Spirit, teach us to pray well. Holy Spirit, enlighten us with Thy heavenly inspirations. Holy Spirit, lead us in the way of salvation. Holy Spirit, grant us the only necessary knowledge. Holy Spirit, inspire in us the practice of good. Holy Spirit, grant us the merits of all virtues. Holy Spirit, make us persevere in justice. Holy Spirit, be our everlasting reward. Lamb of God takes away the sins of the world. Send us thy Holy Spirit. Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world, pour down into our souls the gifts of the Holy Spirit. Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world, grant us the spirit of wisdom and piety. Come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of thy faithful and enkindle in them the fire of thy love. Let us pray. Grant, O merciful Father, that thy divine Spirit may enlighten, inflame, and purify us, that he may penetrate us with his heavenly dew and make us fruitful in good works. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, thy Son, who with thee in the unity of the same Spirit lives and reigns for ever and ever. Amen. The Ave Maris Stella Let us pray. Hail, O star of the ocean, God's own mother blessed, ever sinless virgin, gate of heavenly rest, Taking that sweet Ave from which Gabriel came, Peace confirm within us, changing Eve's name. Break the sinner's fetters, make our blindness day, Chase all evils from us, for all blessings pray. Show thyself a mother, 
May the word divine born for us thy infant hear our prayers through thine Virgin all excelling mildest of the mild free from guilt preserve us meek and undefiled keep our life all spotless make our way secure till we find in jesus joy forevermore praise to god the father honor to the son in the holy spirit be the glory one amen as we all journey towards heaven our eternal home let us never forget that we are all god's children litany of the holy name of jesus lord have mercy Christ have mercy Lord have mercy Jesus hear us Jesus graciously hear us God the father of heaven have mercy on us God the son redeemer of the world have mercy on us God the holy spirit have mercy on us Holy Trinity one God have mercy on us Jesus son of the living God have mercy on us Jesus splendor of the father have mercy on us Jesus brightness of eternal light have mercy on us Jesus king of glory have mercy on us Jesus Son of Justice have mercy on us Jesus Son of the Virgin Mary have mercy on us Jesus most amiable have mercy on us Jesus most admirable have mercy on us Jesus the mighty God have mercy on us Jesus Father of the world to come have mercy on us Jesus angel of great counsel have mercy on us Jesus most powerful have mercy on us Jesus most patient have mercy on us Jesus most obedient have mercy on us Jesus meek and humble of heart have mercy on us Jesus lover of chastity have mercy on us Jesus our lover have mercy on us Jesus god of peace have mercy on us Jesus author of life have mercy on us Jesus model of virtues have mercy on us Jesus zealous for souls have mercy on us Jesus our God have mercy on us Jesus our refuge have mercy on us Jesus father of the poor have mercy on us Jesus treasure of the faithful have mercy on us Jesus good shepherd have mercy on us Jesus true light have mercy on us Jesus eternal wisdom have mercy on us Jesus infinite goodness have mercy on us Jesus our way and our life have mercy on us Jesus joy of the angels have mercy on us Jesus king of the patriarchs have mercy on us Jesus master of the apostles have mercy on us Jesus teacher of the evangelists have mercy on us 
Jesus, strength of martyrs, have mercy on us. Jesus, light of confessors, have mercy on us. Jesus, purity of virgins, have mercy on us. Jesus, crown of all saints, have mercy on us. Be merciful, spare us, O Jesus. Be merciful, graciously hear us, O Jesus. From all evil deliver us, O Jesus. From all sin deliver us, O Jesus. From your wrath deliver us, O Jesus. From the snares of the de devil deliver us, O Jesus. From the spirit of fornication deliver us, O Jesus. From everlasting death deliver us, O Jesus. From the neglect of your inspirations, deliver us, O Jesus. Through the mystery of your holy incarnation, deliver us, O Jesus. Through your nativity, deliver us, O Jesus. Through your infancy, deliver us, O Jesus. Through your most divine life, deliver us, O Jesus. Through your labors, Deliver us, O Jesus. Through your agony and passion, deliver us, O Jesus. Through your cross and dereliction, deliver us, O Jesus. Through your sufferings, deliver us, O Jesus. Through your death and burial, deliver us, O Jesus. Through your resurrection, deliver us, O Jesus. Through your ascension, deliver us, O Jesus. Through your institution of the Most Holy Eucharist, deliver us, O Jesus. Through your joys, deliver us, O Jesus. Through your glory, deliver us, O Jesus. Lamb of God, who take away the sins of the world, spare us, O Lord. Lamb of God, who take away the sins of the world, graciously hear us, O Jesus. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, have mercy on us, O Jesus. Jesus, hear us. Jesus, graciously hear us. Let us pray. O Lord Jesus Christ, you have said, Ask and you shall receive. Seek and you shall find. Knock and it shall be opened to you. Mercifully attend to our supplications and grant us the grace of your most divine love, that we may love you with all our hearts and in all our words and actions, and never cease to praise you. Make us, O Lord, to have a perpetual fear and love of your holy name, for you never fail to govern those whom you solidly establish in your love. You, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. St. Louis de Montfort's Prayer to Jesus O most loving Jesus, deign to let me pour forth my gratitude before you for the grace you have bestowed upon me in giving me to your Holy Mother through the devotion of holy bondage that she may be my advocate in the presence of your majesty and my support in my extreme misery. Alas, O oh Lord, I am so wretched that without this dear mother I should be certainly lost. Yes, Mary is necessary for me at your side, and everywhere that she may appease your just wrath, because I have so often offended you. that she may save me from the eternal punishment of your justice, which I deserve, that she may contemplate you, speak to you, pray to you, approach you and please you, that she may help me to save my soul and the souls of others. In short, Mary is necessary for me, that I may always do your holy will and seek your greater glory in all things.
Ah, would that I could proclaim throughout the whole world the mercy that you have shown me. Would that everyone might know I should be already damned were it not for Mary. Would that I might offer worthy thanksgiving for so great a blessing. Mary is in me, oh what a treasure, oh what a consolation, and shall I not be entirely hers? Oh what gratitude! My dear Saviour, send me death rather than such a calamity, for I would rather die than live without belonging entirely to Mary. With Saint John the Evangelist at the foot of the cross, I have taken her a thousand times for my own and as many times have given myself to her. But if I have not yet done it, as you, dear Jesus, do wish, I now renew this offering as you desire me to renew it. And if you see in my soul or my body anything that does not belong to this August Princess, I pray you to take it and cast it far from me, for whatever in me does not belong to Mary is unworthy of you. O Holy Spirit, grant me all these graces. Plant in my soul the tree of true life, which is Mary. Cultivate it and tend it so that it may grow and blossom and bring forth the fruit of life in abundance. O Holy Spirit, give me great devotion to Mary, your faithful spouse. Give me great confidence in her maternal heart and an abiding refuge in her mercy, so that by her you may truly form in me, Jesus Christ, great and mighty, unto the fullness of his perfect age. Amen. O Jesus, living in Mary, Come and live in thy servants, in the spirit of thy holiness, in the fullness of thy might, in the truth of thy virtues, in the perfection of thy ways, in the communion of thy mysteries. Subdue every hostile power in thy spirit for the glory of the Father. Amen. As we all journey towards heaven, our eternal home, let us never forget that we are all God's children.